Watch out! Apollo Justice Ace Attorney is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB content rating system due to it featuring mild blood, suggestive themes, and violent references? Whatever those are. Oh well, viewer discretion is advised for this Let's Play series. Hey there, Roddy! I'm Marty. Welcome back everybody to Apollo Justice Ace Attorney. So, we're still in the middle of Turnabout Serenade. Before we continue, just a fair warning, Marty has had a very, very long day at work. Worked <laughs> almost 12 hours. Yeah. So, yeah. if she, I'm going to be more lenient if she messes stuff up. Unless it's really hilarious, in which case I'll bring it'll, up the harmonica. It'll be, it'll be hilarious, I guarantee. Anyhow, anyhow, oh, one thing I should do. Before before we start, um, yeah, where do you think this case is going? Where I, do I think it's going? I feel like I should be asking you these questions a bit more, because um, it's your first time well, playing. Well, we do, we now know that, um, what's-his-face is not blind. Uh, Machi. Machi, Machi to buy it. To buy it. <laughs> Yeah, he's not blind. And... She is. Yeah, so what... So, we're trying to... At the current moment, I'm trying to think for a sec what where it could go. At first, I thought Colonel Mustard Man was going to be the cause of <laughs> tuxedo everything. Tuxedo Mask. Yeah, Tuxedo Mask, but yellow. <laughs> um, But it, I don't think that that's where that's going. You but don't I think so? Am, I am kind of wondering if magic supposed magic is the reasoning for this however i feel like if that was the case you would have complained more about this case if there was actual, there was literal, actual magic, literal magic yeah i would have complained about you would have that. complained about it yes. because <laughs> even like for the circus case people were like i remember i was like wow there's like that was really light. there's like magic and stuff and you're like oh i'm like yeah there is no. <sighs> yeah anyhow let's do this all right snack who's okay <sighs> Yeah, we just found the uh, igniter so. underneath the couch. Oh, Because somebody put it right, there. Right, right. We caught her hair on fire or something like that. <laughs> she got a first degree burn on her hand. That not oh, not okay. canon. Not okay. canon. Man, well, there's absolutely there. nothing to watch tonight. <laughs> um, so, yeah, the Coliseum. Coliseum. Let's Coliseum. see them. Oh, things are happening. July 9th, Sunshine Coliseum. Oh what? my gosh. Come to laugh at the murderer. Darian. That old bag opens a pie hole and then wham bam my life goes down the chute. Thanks. They won't let me work while I'm a suspect. Darian isn't in the best of moods, is he? Not many people are these days, it seems. It's a crime scene. Not exactly the happiest place to hang out. The Gavin had to go rub salt in the wound. My alibi's rock solid. Rock solid! I mean... That is true. You look like a shark. It's so weird. <laughs> with, with a torpedo as with your hair. With a torpedo as his hair. So, about your alibi. You have to ask. The shooting happened right in the middle of the third set. Um, that's right. The music was blaring when we heard those gunshots. And found Mr. <laughs> dead. I've got 10,000 witnesses who saw me too. Right there on that stage. Your guitar playing was something else. Thanks, little lady. See? The whole thing's a sham! I ain't can't believe they aren't letting me work. There's no need to yell at me. It's Lamawa's fault. She was the one who said she heard his voice at the moment of the crime. Man, I never even talked to that old windbag. How could you possibly identify me? I mean, okay. How did- I just realized this dude would never need to wear a hat because his hair <laughs> is like a- <laughs> His hair provides shade on his face. But we, you also need a hat to protect your hair, because your hair totally... But look at how sun. thick that hair is. His hair is thicker than his face, practically. I mean, that is true. It's All pretty right. thick. <laughs> they won't let you work? He won't let me work, Gavin. Says I gotta lie low till the suspicion is cleared. What suspicion? He can He can be such a stick in the mud. Mr. Gavin? A stick in the mud? He may look all flashy and showy, but he's straight as an arrow, man. Except when he's depressed. You heard him whining the other day? Oh, you mean the thing with the mixing board? And then there was that performance just now! What was that all about? This part is off. Which is that? Hmm, second guitar. Ah. Uh, it was you, Darian! He's just a perfectionist is all. Not a bad guy, really. Well, I think the Gaviniers are the best. I have all of your albums. The band's fine, too. Gavin can write a good tune, I'll give him that. Come to think of it, I haven't seen Prosecutor Gavin around much. Oh, him? He's down at the prosecutor's office, most likely. The prosecutor's office? I've never been there, have I? 
The data on the victim should have come in from Interpol. Normally, I'd be down there dealing with it. Normally. Apollo, let's go check it out! I always wanted to see the prosecutor's office! Hmm, maybe that's not such a bad idea. Right on! Say hi for me, okay? Oh, and screw you. <laughs> okay. And tell him I want into that crime scene. Um, we'll be going now. Hey, wait. Y yes What do you really think happened? Really? You don't think I did it, right? Uh... W well... Great, way to instill a guy with some confidence. You look like a shark. <laughs> what do we expect? <laughs> just remember, I was ripping it up on stage when it happened, okay? Ripping. Here's the thing. I, I bet you this is what happened. I bet that they were like, okay, we need a magician to like warp Lamaiwa. <laughs> and then I wonder if they were like, can you do like a smoke and meat? I wonder if he like came up and he was like, can you do like a smoke and meat? Can you do like thing? a holographic <laughs> So it looks <laughs> like. is really a holographic image. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, could you do that? And then because of it, you have to sync it up with the music, and that's why he was off. Oh, interesting. Because it's like, because it's a hologram. They're going to pull an R for concert. With maybe. The hologram. It doesn't necessarily a hologram, but what I'm saying is it would be off. Like, maybe it was pre recorded. And that's why it... Because when we listened to it, it sounded vaguely okay, robotic. But, but he was on the stage. So either it was a hologram or it was an animatronic. <laughs> <laughs> it's a <laughs> Five Nights at <laughs> Freddy's. <laughs> Five Nights at Darien's. Uh -huh. That would be a well, terrible fan game. <laughs> it could be. Or it could, or they could pull an Angelina in the wings. Where Angelina's like, Alice, you're going to fly on the high wire for me because I don't want to fly on it. She's they, like, found, they managed to find someone else who had a shark outfit and a torpedo hairdo. No, you just put on a wig. And who can play guitar? That's why he sucked. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't suck. He you just, were off he this just got one part off. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Granted, it's only like a 20 second song. It so. was a really <laughs> short song. Don't get led astray by some siren song, eh? I like the idea. He was just staring us down for the last like, two minutes. <laughs> we talk, get this one wrong and you'll be eating humble pie for a year. I'll bake it myself. Let's not talk to him anymore all right detective darian crescent he's one stone i'd leave unturned if i had a choice i thought his name said croissant darian croissant darian croissant <laughs> darian croissant <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> whoa this does not look like a normal prosecutor's <laughs> office he looks like he's got a lounging chair with his guitars he has more than one <laughs> the smashed guitar he's Burned. got Oh, the burned, right. He didn't and then he smash smashed it one. trying to put it out. Yeah. July 9th, Prosecutor Gavin's office. So, this is it. The Gavineer's head office. It's not the band's office, it's the prosecutor's office. Yeah, so that's why I'm asking, what is that creepy thing, object, whatever? Looks like Prosecutor Gavin is on the phone. Oh well, guess we'll have to come back. Or we can hide behind the bookshelf real quiet like. That's eavesdropping. Why? We'll just be waiting. Quietly, so he didn't notice. What if we heard something scandalous about the band? She'd make a good reporter for a gossip mag. What? A replica? So why was he after it in the first place? Yeah! Look, don't talk to me about those Borgenians, okay? Just get me that report, chop chop. And stop leaving mysterious objects in my office, okay? Edgeworth. It's times like these when I start to miss Darian. Huh? Um, hiya! <laughs> <laughs> Just thought we'd drop in. Hope you're not mad. How could I be? There's not enough tea in the world in any case. Have a seat. Prosecutor Gavin, the philanthropist. Watch and learn, Apollo. So, who have you come to see? Huh? Clavier, lead vocalist for the Gaviniers, or Prosecutor Gavin's scourge of the courtroom. What do you think he means, Apollo? I think he's giving us a choice. We can either ask him about the concert or the case. Which way to go? Oh. Oh, I, I thought it was going to be like decision time. No way, let's examine his stuff. What's that on the plate there? Is that gum? Gum? Maybe he was chewing it when the phone rang. So we put it on the plate for later consumption. You think a rock star could afford a fresh stick? Don't jump to any conclusions now. That's no chewing gum. Take a closer look. 
Although I really shouldn't be offering, should I? What is that? It looks like a lump of plastic? Wait, that phone call. Yeah, so that's why I'm asking, what is this creepy thing, object, whatever? Looks like Prosecutor Gavin's on the phone. This was two seconds ago! You could also have talked to him first before doing this, so uh. it could have been longer away. What? A replica? So why was he after it in the first place? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just imagining him sneezing on the phone. <laughs> Prosecutor Gavin, does this have something to do with Mr. Sneeze? <laughs> Wait a second. You were listening to my phone call, weren't you? Who? Us? I, I, I tried to stop him, really, but he forced me to. Hey, you were the one digging for a scandal, Miss Reporter. Tell the tr to, to tell, tell the, the truth. truth, I'm not even sure what it is. I caught that one even. But apparently it's a model of something undercover agent Mr. <laughs> with after. <laughs> this lump? Would you mind telling us what to do about what do you know about it? What to do, what to do. Wow, look at that stereo. To me, a life without music is inconceivable. I never turn down the volume, even when I'm working on a case. So in other words, nobody wants to be next to Prosecutor <laughs> yeah. Gavin your office. And Dwarf's like, Because he's just blasting the same song. No wonder over. Von Karman needed so many spotties. <laughs> Maybe he didn't work at that time. That's true. He probably didn't. Because Von Karman, like, retired. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we know. He, he didn't. Because the case that Phoenix got his attorney's badge taken away, that was Clavius' first. first trial. So. Man, everybody's first trial is famous. <laughs> Pretty much. Except Winston Payne's. Winston Payne's. No! Every trial's his first trial, practically. <laughs> that and also it's like, um, <laughs> well, Phoenix Wright's was pretty memorable. And then, like, Francisca we don't know about, but apparently she, like, hit big in Germany. Yeah, at 13, and she won. 13? 13. Oh, yeah. 13. <laughs> okay. That's such a huge speaker. <laughs> why did I say that? <laughs> That's such a huge speaker thing. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> That's such a huge speaker. It must be really loud. This room is completely soundproof, of course. It's like I didn't pronounce the G. Really? At my place, I can hear when the neighbors turn on their VCR to record something. Maybe you can get Mr. Wright to talk to them, work something out? And lately, we've been getting complaints about Apollo's voice training. Maybe I'll go have a word with Mr. Wright, too. Wait, <laughs> Apollo lives with them now? No, but he goes to the office, like, every day to work. Okay, but does he show up at 5 a.m. and just start screaming? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> this display shows all the evidence for the case. Man, Apollo sucks to work with as well. <laughs> I'm fine! <laughs> I'm fine! Look, Apollo, he's got three televisions. Hey, don't look at those too closely. I'm still sorting out the details. Each monitor shows evidence for a different case. He does them all at once? I wish I had three TVs. What would you possibly do with free television sets? I may look laid back and relaxed, but in reality, I'm quite busy, you know. I'm living life at turbo speed, doing magic, going to school, investigating cases. Dang, you're going to school still? But, but if I had three big TVs, I could watch a magic video, do my homework, and catch a crime drama all at once. The first two seem useful, I suppose. You do homework on TV? <laughs> Apparently. Apparently. Your homework is to watch this television show. Actually, I've had that happen. What's wrong, Apollo? You look confused. I was just wondering where the work chair in this office was. You're looking at my favorite chair right now. That's a massage chair, isn't it? That is an ergonomic... I love the ones with vibrating rollers on your back. Those feel great. You interrupted me, Fräulein. Did I say something wrong? No, I merely realized the futility of an explanation. He always looks You're poor, nervous. after all. Look at all the guitars! Why so many? You can never have too many guitars. They are like my lovers. I didn't just hear him say that. <laughs> They're backup guitars, Apollo. Don't you know anything? Rock and rollers always have to smash their guitars at the end of a show. No wonder it's so hard to make it as a musician. You know what? You should try rocking a little, Apollo. And breaking his guitars while he watches? That might be a little too rocking. <laughs> of course, I would never do such a thing. Did I not say they're like my lovers? Do I seem like the kind of man who would do such a thing to ones he loves? No, no, not at all. I mean, you're Mr. Gavin, upstanding prosecutor. What happened to Prosecutor Gavin, god of rock? 
<laughs> also, he broke his guitar, so... He did it. I just said keytar. <laughs> that's that's a keyboard on a guitar. Keytar! Keytar is an actual thing. Yeah, it is, but I said the wrong thing. That was an impressive bit of pyrotechnics that did this. That's the guitar from the concert, isn't it? I thought it was one of the staff playing a gag on me. In the middle of a concert? I never would have- I never guessed that it wasn't the end of it. I had a specialist analyze the guitar, incidentally. Oh, did you find anything out? He didn't have a lot of time, so it's still unclear. But the results he came up with were... Intriguing. Intriguing? How does that guitar tie into everything that went on? Sounds like something we should ask about. Not now. Maybe later. Wow, look at that stereo! Oh, oh, oh my gosh, his desk is a stereo. Oh! I thought they were talking about the stereos on top of it, but no, those must be the VCRs. I have two stereos. Oh my gosh, he, his desk is literally a stereo. So is that so one. So is that one. Oh, I never noticed that. This guy is hardcore. Okay, talk, talk, talk. Ah, oh, that reminds me. Did you see the paper today? Yeah! I always read the TV section. Good girl. How about you, Air Forehead? I read the funnies. Same. <laughs> Then you will not have seen this. Concert of Tragedy? The Prosecutor's Deadly Psalm? Ooh, is that a new show? I never heard about that one. It's not a show, it's an article. News, you know? Oh, does this have anything to do with the case? Since getting back from the trial, my phone has been ringing off the hook. How does it feel to take a man's life with a psalm? Have you ever hummed a man all the way to death row? Do you think you could see me over for the phone? <laughs> for me over the phone? It is endless, endless, thanks to the case you made today, of course. Oh, that was all Apollo's idea. Hey! Hmm, is that a newspaper over there too? Ah yes, the Borginian Daily Bugle. Go ahead, take a look. Um, thanks, but I can't read Borginian. Oh, that's right. You Suffice it to say, this is big news over there as well. You can read Borginian? Though, they didn't go so far as to mention the lyrics to my song. Probably no one in Borginia could believe it. It's probably seen as just a theory Actually, at this point. Actually, he does know it. A GAME THEORY! <laughs> Their journalist didn't see the need to mention it. That makes sense. I hardly know what to think of it myself. Borginian newspaper added to the court record. Well, if he knows Borginian, then that means... He only knows a little. But he was able to translate what Lemuel was saying in court. But she was only saying basic sentences. Uh... Well, she only spoke like three sentences in Borgenian that he translated for uh, us. Uh, but I mean, I can't translate that well, and I know languages, Japanese. Maybe he took like one year, so he knows some, like the most important words, but he, he's not fluent. Yeah, 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 maybe. Lamoa's testimony will probably be in the evening edition, I'd imagine. Which is why I've had Darian step down from the investigation for now. Yeah, we ran into him moping in front of the Coliseum. Lamoa was my invited guest, so it is a rather delicate situation. You understand how much I want to solve this case. Quickly, if possible. Yeah, that's why we're doing two days. Yep. I really love that song. It has such a great atmosphere to it. You co-wrote it with Lamoa, if I remember correctly. That's right, it was last year. I'd gone to tour Borginia's legal system, as a matter of fact. And that's when you heard Lamewa's voice? It was at a small jazz club. I wept that night. I knew I had to meet her to talk with her. So I used my influence, which is not inconsiderable, to arrange a meeting. Wow, prosecutors really have a lot of clout. I think he's sort of a special case, Trucy. Thankfully, she liked the work I did, and we wrote a song right there backstage. Machi on piano, that dulcet voice. And myself on guitar that I borrowed from Lamewa. And music history was made. Probably not an experience your average lawyer would ever have, like Apollo, say. It is a memory I hold dear, and the song we wrote that night was this. And that very guitar is right over there. You mean, this charred lump? Don't call it a lump! That's a piece of history! And it's only brown, not really charred. No matter, I shall never sing that song again. I wouldn't have used that guitar again, either, even if I could have. What happened during that psalm, anyway? Why did his guitar suddenly catch on fire? Do you think you could show it to us? Your charred- I mean, your slightly burnt guitar? 
I'm sure he doesn't mind. What more could have happened to it? Can we borrow it and then hit the pyrotechnics? <laughs> <laughs> it was a beautiful instrument. It was played lovingly for many years. A guitar befitting a woman like Lamewa. How did it end up here? She gave it to me. I mentioned how much I enjoyed playing it that night, and she made a present of it. So this guitar is from Morginia! That it is. We couldn't carry it on the plane. Changes in air pressure and humidity ruined the wood. So we vacuum packed it in Lamawa's studio. I used a special shipping service available to me for transporting evidence. They brought it right up to my office for me. Pristine and untouched. See, prosecutors do have a lot of clout. Um, I still think he's a special case. Such a valuable guitar. It's too bad it got burned. Prosecutor Gavin's burned guitar added to the court record. <laughs> what was it that you were saying earlier? Something about intriguing results from an examination of the guitar? That's right! What was that all about? Well, you know how guitars have a round hole in the front? It is called the sound hole. Yeah. Ah, so that's what it was called. Well, they found something attached to the wood just inside the hole. A broken device of some sort. A broken... device? Yes, this in fact. The examiner's busy with the evidence for the case now, however. So he'll be checking this out once he's finished with everything else. Hmm. Ah, that device looks strangely familiar. Yeah, we have it. This was found in Mr. LEPIFLA's <laughs> bag! It's, a, he, it's apparently a replica of something. A replica? It looks like a chow egg. It's a small lump, about an inch and a half long. Never mind, it doesn't look like a chow egg. <laughs> it's really small. <laughs> really small. We analyzed it, but there's not much to say other than it's a lump of plastic. Oh, speaking of chow eggs, one thing we did off screen yesterday, uh, last episode was figure out just how weird of a character <laughs> that Mr. Stewart from Sonic from X Sonic is. X? Holy cow, he's the most detailed Wikipedia article I've ever encountered it's, for it's a fiction gold. character. <laughs> Just go and read it. it. It's so, so it's weird. so bizarre. If you ever watched that show, especially as a kid, you may not remember how weird of a character he was. He's so weird. He's Anyhow, I bring that up because Chowag and also Claudia Gavin looks like Christoph Gavin, who looks like Mr. Stewart. A little bit. Although Mr. Stewart has glasses. So does Christoph. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> we analyzed it, but there's not much to say other than it's a lump of plastic. I kind of forgot that um the other Gavin existed. Oh. In my brain, I'm kind of like their split personalities. <laughs> it was like, it's I'm always... Claudia Gavin, and it's like, I'm Prosecutor Gavin. <laughs> like, That's the same guy. I'm the other uh, defense, 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 defense attorney Gavin, Kristoff. Yeah. Perhaps it was to be used in the identification of whatever it is a replica of. You mean, whatever Mr. The Deuce was after? That seems to be the most logical explanation. Well, well, what is it? Don't ask me, Fräulein. Oh, if you don't want to tell us, you could just say so. I've put in a request to Interpol via my contacts in Borginia. But apparently there is a block on information somewhere along the chain. Oh? Something Interpol doesn't want to tell Borginia. Something about this little piece of plastic. Mr. Latouse went through all of that trouble to become Lamawa's manager. Just to come to this country to find out more about this lump? Maybe, and he died for maybe it. Maybe it, uh, maybe it reflects revolver bullets. <laughs> maybe it can, like, withstand the pressure, and then he's like, oh, I could live. Uh, people could live. Are you uh, saying this is like a Doc Brown Back to the Future yeah! game? Where it's like, I knew I was gonna get shot by the Libyan, so I wore a bullet for <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but only for that those specific spots. <laughs> <laughs> Replica added to the court record. I've sent someone to the Coliseum to fetch Lamua. Perhaps she knows something about it being a Borginian. Okay. Cool. Check it out. I'm an attorney. My apologies, but there's no way I'm going to talk details about the case with you. You just did! If you want to get my attention, bring me something dramatic. I'm not here to get your attention, Gavin. I'm here to get your information. Okay, then show him his lyrics. That'll give him attention. <laughs> You're cutting your guitar burned up. Oh. Lyric. The guitar serenade. Might I ask, did you enjoy it? It's a lovely song. I got all teary-eyed. Ah yes, the cursed song that turned a concert into a tragedy, wasn't it? I was singing it for you, Fräulein. 
Whoa! Th th that's so special! It was Lama Wa singing, actually. I'm glad you were moved. It is that kind of song. Ack! I've run out of snide comments! <laughs> <laughs> Been there, done that. I'm okay. glad we got to hear that music so much. Yeah, but I'm done with it now. Now we're at the silent Coliseum. The backstage July hallway. 9th, oh, backstage hallway. Oh, there's a new guitar. Well, that case has always been there. I didn't think it was. This place is deserted. I wonder where Lemewa went off to. I'm sure she's okay on her own. She seems resourceful. I guess, but I can't help but worry about her a little. I mean, she is blind on her Go own. Go to her dressing room. No. Oh. Uh, I was like, hey guys, what's up? Oh, wait. <laughs> what? I forgot to present something to Gavin. <laughs> really? Yeah, and I think it actually does advance the plot, so we gotta Aww. go back. Sorry. Uh, if I was quicker, I would have given a really good Mr. Stewart uh, <laughs> fact. But I, I is it that quick. he's like also like a, the school counselor? No, he's a, he's a school teacher. He's a substitute, substitute teacher, but he also is like Chris. How about we go to like this like the not the therapy office, but like <gasps> the counselor's office, and like he's basically so Chris. Tell me, how do you feel about like, Sonic the Hedgehog? He's like, uh, I, I think he's fine, I guess. It's like, <laughs> I, I want to know, know all is. about you and Sonic. Because <laughs> I'm actually a government buzz. agent. Yeah, he's actually a government agent. It has to be one of these. What is it, Apollo? That device that was found in your guitar? Take a look at this. What? That looks like the same thing. What is it? It's an igniter. A another one! It was at the crime scene, in Lamawa's dressing room. Detective Sky found it, actually. At the scene of the crime? What could that mean, I wonder? I believe that covers everything I'm at liberty to talk to you about. Oh. Thanks for dropping by, Air Forehead. Thanks? Why, you gave me so much information. That igniter, for instance. Oh, that. I've never met an attorney so forthcoming with the prosecution. It's, it's true. It's a big help. We, like, never shared anything with Edgeworth, because we'd yeah. just be like, ah. Or perhaps you're just a tad naive. Hmm. I guess I could have hit it, but somehow showing it felt like the right thing. I could say the same to you, too, Prosecutor Gavin. Thanks for the information. About the, uh, strange lump of plastic. The one that Mr. <laughs> was investigating. H hey, th that's right. I've been thinking, Air Forehead. We encounter many incidents in our lives, all of us. Not all of them are simple. Mm -hmm. Especially not the ones where people are killing two psalm lyrics. <laughs> <laughs> that is why I try to do, at least remain simple inside. And I keep a simple goal. To discover the truth. That's why I like to keep relations civil, ya. Yeah. That is all. Yeah, hey, I can appreciate that. I can live with that. Um, Mr. Prosecutor? Fräulein. Can I ask you why you sing in a band? Ah, because I want women to turn and look when I walk down the street. That's pretty simple, too. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me, I've got work to do. Another time, perhaps. But it sucks when your bike breaks down and you're, like, surrounded by fans. And when your brake bikes down. That's also bad. July 9th, Sunshine Coliseum. Oh, it's you. You came at a good time. Hello there, Emma. Uh, what's up? Either you, either of you know where, uh, Lemewa is? Um, well, I saw her in the backstage hallway a while ago. Yeah? That's strange. What's strange? I can't find her anywhere. I was supposed to bring her to the prosecutor's office. Lemewa's missing? It's hard to imagine her wandering off somewhere on her own. Being that she's blind and all. Yeah, we'll help you look for her. <laughs> Plot twist. Nobody's blind. They're just crazy. Lamb was just like, damn. <laughs> <laughs> Great, thanks. Me and the boys running away from the crime scene. <laughs> I don't know where I don't know that why, originated I from, why, but I like it. My yeah. immediate thought was, what? It, what is it, the the uh, Beagle Boys from DuckTales? Oh, yeah, the Beagle Boys. Tales? Yeah, the Beagle Boys. Uh, where should we go? The stage. What, uh, there's a power July outage? 9th, 4, 46 p.m. In, in the wings. wings, like Angelina. This is the third time you've made that joke. <laughs> huh? The stage is pitch black. The power breaker must be off for this section. Great. I'll go get someone. 
Yipes, it was really dark out there. Dark. That's all Lamawa has when you think about it. What would it be like to live in a world of darkness? Hey, Apollo. Huh? What? Doesn't something about the stage seem different to you? Like, something's changed. Changed? I can't put my finger on it, but it's bugging me. Now it's bugging me too! What's she talking about? There's a red guitar case. This was here all the time! Was it? <laughs> yeah, but it oh. was opened. H hey, that case! Wasn't that open before? I love how, like, you always get the thing right, but for the wrong reason. You know what? <laughs> You're like, it's a guitar case. That wasn't there before. It's like, um, yeah, it definitely was. Or it's like, I know, it must be this thing. You're like, it is this thing, but you have a completely wrong reasoning for it. <laughs> yeah. Huh, I guess someone closed it. Wait. Look, where the case closes. Something's sticking out. That doesn't look like an instrument. You don't think it's... Let's open it, Apollo! Lamua! Lamua! Emma! We have to get Emma! Lamua was taken directly to the hospital. Emma ran around barking orders, eating snack hoos, making phone calls. <laughs> in that order. <laughs> Trucy just clung to my arm and cried. And me, I was still in shock. Two bodies in two days is Oh, two, she's two dead? Minutes. Is she dead? We'll find out. Oh, hey, look! July 9th, 5.53 p.m. The Hickfield Clinic. Oh, totally no. not the same thing as the Hotney Clinic waiting room. Emma, how's Lamai Wa? Is she okay? Ah, uh, you. We all owe you a big thanks, that's for sure. So, she's okay? Yeah, she came to a short- or she came to a short while ago. You found her before it was too late. That's good to hear. So, what happened? Someone attacked her. She was struck on the forehead. What force trauma By who? Uh, we don't know. But, but they hit her on the forehead, right? That's right in front of her! How could she not see- Oh. Right. Would you like to see her now? Is that alright? She wanted to thank you for saving her life. Oh wow, she's already out of her room! Holy cow! She's probably good! <laughs> Lemawa! Ah, uh, Mr. Attorney. You were the one who found me. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Uh, I'm just glad you're okay. Tell me, what happened? She has amnesia. Attacked! Amnesia. It was after I spoke with you in front of the dressing room. I sensed someone approaching. I thought it might be someone... It might be someone come to see me, but they said nothing. When I went to return to my dressing room... You were hit? I knew that very moment. I knew. The assailant... The assailant? The assailant. Assailant? Yeah, okay. The assailant was trying to kill me. Ah! It was lucky for me the first blow did not knock me out. I turned and ran for the stage. Someone was chasing me and I could hear footsteps. Wow, that's amazing that it didn't leave a bruise on your head at all. Sprite she's limitations wearing... and all that. She's wearing a headpiece! That's true, but if it's on the, her forehead, we can see most it, of it. She didn't her say forehead. forehead, she said head. I thought it was forehead. All right. Oh. Yet I reached the, the stage first. Why the stage? I had overheard maintenance people talking. The power to the stage area was off, they said, for electrical work. Ah! Darkness is my ally. <laughs> she, she and Anson would be great friends. The darkness <laughs> is the my darkness. <laughs> Submit. <laughs> Oh, to drop. when I was when I was at work earlier today. <laughs> Did you meet Ansem? <laughs> no, but this has to do with Kingdom Hearts. I was at work and I came in. And I was kind of exhausted and I went to eat ice cream. Uh, yes, I was allowed to eat ice cream. I she worked twelve away. hours. <laughs> uh, no, but my my boss was like, "You need some ice cream." So I sat down and I'm like, "Wait, one of my coworkers must have brought a Kingdom Hearts water bottle." It was beautiful. It was like really big water bottle. It was like Kingdom Hearts three or maybe two. It had like all the people like sitting and Kyrie's in her uh, school uniform. So I think it was two. Oh yeah, the, like of my poster. Yeah, like your poster. Yeah, that's two. Yeah, like with Roxas, where it's like if you looked, why is Roxas's leg like twice the height of the rest of his? Uh, yeah, body? yeah. <laughs> that's weird. It was really funny. There was a, a contrabass. There was a contrabass. I almost said contrabass. Con contrabass, contrabass, contrabass. Contra contra <laughs> there was a contrabass case near the stage. 
That is where I hid. So the assailant couldn't see you? Once in the case, I'm afraid I passed out. Wow, that sounds like a really close call. Yeah, it's like being in a coffin, so... Do you have any idea who might have been, who it might have been? Unfortunately, no. Whoever it was, they said not a word. Too bad. Yet when I consider that I was struck high on the forehead- Okay, it was forehead. Yeah. But high, so mm -hmm. it could be up high. I must conclude that whoever hit me was taller than I am. Good point. She's sharp. Well, it, not necessarily. If you're short, you can hit someone on the forehead. <laughs> Mar Paper Mario with the hammer throw badge. <laughs> oh, I guess. I was just thinking in general, like, if uh, you're taller than me, but I could hit you on the forehead. The top of the forehead? Not not, not super easily. Necessarily. Not really that hard. Because you'd have to, like... Not that hard, no. Yeah. I'd have to, like, throw a hammer or whatever. <laughs> yeah, like Paper Mario. And you're much taller than I am. You're about as tall as Apollo. Whoa. But Apollo looks like he's, like, 5'8". It's just... It's America. <laughs> it's America. The people are shorter in, uh, in America than they are in America. So, okay. so that means it was likely an adult and probably a man. Oh, how sexist of you, Apollo. <laughs> <laughs> we, because they hit it hard and because they're tall that no, they're a man. Literally, in my brain, I was like, maybe... <laughs> Not that, em, not that Emma was gonna do this, but I'm like, the only people that I Emma snapped, seeing... she ran out of snack who's <laughs> She was like, oh, why you ate my snack who's <laughs> uh, but, but literally, it's like, who would be tall enough? Sharknado. Sharknado, probably. That's, that's what I'm calling him from now on, <laughs> Sharknado. by the way. It Shark... works, because he's torpedo hair with a shark. Yeah, Sharknado could have done it. Colonel Luster could have come by and been like, just <laughs> <it>. <laughs> <laughs> Like, like, um, what is it? Uh, well... Who's the villain in Guilty Party? The, All Dr. of them? Valentine or... Oh, is that... I don't remember. I re you don't remember he him? I, rem I, I don't remember his name. I remember the guy who was like, oh, yeah, he's he's always like, I'm knocking out. You have a knockout trap. No, I'm knocking you out of a knockout trap. And it's like, in five turns, the Gucci Party gets away. It's like, oh, no, we don't have any... Yeah. <laughs> All right. It's not as sexist as Maya's, where it's like, someone cleaned up all the snow, so it had to be a man. <laughs> it's like, really, Maya? <laughs> Could it be him? Why would anyone attack you, Lamewa? The detective asked me this, too. And to her, I gave the same answer I give you. I do not know. Hmm. What was that? Probably someone working on the faucet or something. I don't know. Yo, look at this. I, I mean, uh, feel this thing. Is this in Braille? If it's in Braille, it won't work good. I'm sorry, I'm not quite recovered from the attack. She looks like she's had a rough day. Oh, I'll maybe. just put this piece of evidence away for later. Yo, oh. feel the plastic. I'm sorry. Feel the plastic. Ah, Lamawa, I wanted to ask you about this. Do you know what this is? I can't see it, you moron. <laughs> but she could feel it. It looks like there's ri uh, ridges on it. That's true. Like, this... This is what? Oh, I'm picturing basically like, I don't know! I'm blind! People tough. Yeah, tough. <laughs> <laughs> moving the hand in front that of her. That was my favorite. She's probably my favorite character, aside from maybe Sokka. Sokka's. Uh, um, I'm sorry, General Iroh is- General Iroh's also- There's a lot of good characters in Avatar. And then there's Azula. <laughs> Even then, she's pretty great. Oh, I don't- I don't like Azula at all. I think she's cool. Mr. Latrim <laughs> was Karen. Stop sneezing every time you mention his name. <laughs> it's a replica of the fiend he was after. He was after. You know, in his secret identity. You know, he was a secret agent, everybody. <laughs> As an undercover agent. Oh, I just remembered. Remember when I was talking to you the other day about um, um, the guy Mr. who's Stewart? Fred? No, the guy who was Fred in... Yeah, Scooby-Doo. In, in Scooby-Doo. Or no, who was I looking up? Maybe it was him. One of the voice actors I looked up recently, it's like, Oh, they were that random soldier in... In, um... In... Avatar The Last Airbender that has, like, the terrible shoulder pad yeah, that tries yeah. to be a fire. Yeah, yeah, rule two. Yeah, rule two. I'm like, wow. Of course. I don't- sorry. I Is that it? Thinking, yep, that's that it. That had nothing I, to do I, with I, what was happening. No, okay. I was just- I, I thought about it. I'm like, oh! I don't have a good brain, guys. <laughs> so that's what he was doing. You mean, you know what? Yes, I know, of course. This must be a Borginian cocoon. Or, rather, a convincing replica thereof. Why haven't I heard of a Borginian cocoon before? Is it, like, a code for a bomb? 
like, oh, watch out for the Borkinian cocoon. Oh, by the way, <laughs> the cabbage is in, in the, the backyard. backyard. <laughs> Why would he be carrying this around? Was it some kind of souvenir? I wonder. A Borginian cocoon. Well, they call it Borginia. It must only be found in Borginia. For certain, all in Borginia know of this. It's a cocoon, so do you get silk from it? I do not know the details, I'm sorry to say. I thought you said all in Borginia knew of these. There's one fact I do know about the cocoon, though. Something all in Borginia know. What's that? The cocoons. They're not to be taken out of the country. Oh, it's like those, um, those flowers in, is it California? The orange poppy blossom things that's like, don't pick these flowers. You could, do you remember those? No. You don't remember those at all? Okay. This is, this reminds me of the puzzle in Secret of Monkey Island though. No, it's we like, went, I didn't touch the stupid flowers. We went to California <laughs> once and I was like, ooh, pretty flowers. And I picked them from our grandma and she was like, Okay, it's fine because you don't live here, but you can't pick these flowers because, like, they're endangered or something. I'm like, oh. Okay. They're, like, orange and they're super pretty. Yeah. Uh, but uh, you won't be put to death for it. <laughs> um, if someone does and is caught, they will be put to death. <laughs> to death? Why? I do not know. Yet, if Interpol was involved, I'm sure there's a good reason. But this is just a piece of plastic! He was carrying a replica, but looking for the real deal. That's my best guess. So that's what he was up to? Tracking down Borginian cocoon smuggling. Smuggling? It seems I was marked. Marked? Life changed for me with the popularity of my songs. I began to travel around the world. Ah, uh, so you could have brought those Borginian cocoons with you! On my trips, yes. That was probably the suspicion. And Mr. Latouse was placed as an undercover agent to look into it. Borghini is a small, sheltered country. Not many of our people venture into the world outside. Is that why they suspected you? But Mr. Latouse wasn't Borghinian, was he? He was an Interpol agent, which means... What, Apollo? Well, there must have been some reason other countries didn't want the cocoons out. Something scary enough to get Interpol involved. Huh? Like what? How could such a tiny ball of thread cause such a commotion? Cocoon smuggling. And Mr. Latouse had Wamiwa marked. Hmm. It couldn't be her. Huh? There's one other person I need to talk to. Thank you for talking to us, Wamiwa. It was the least I could do. Actually, I have another request. If it is within my power... I need an interpreter. Someone yeah. who speaks Borkinian. Apollo? Would you come with us if you're well enough? I see. Yes, yes, of course. I shall accompany you. Ah! Uh -huh. Where are we going? Come on, Trucy. We're about to get to the bottom of this. Oh yeah, you can be discharged from the hospital. No July 9th, problem. Detention Center Visitor's Room. Machi, we came to talk to you about the case. Machi. Oh, he's surprised. Could you interpret for us, Lamawa? Yes. Machi, I'd like to talk to you about when we first met. When we still thought you were blind. In Sushi Demonia. Now we know the truth. You can see, right? I was completely fooled myself. Machi, isn't there another secret you're hiding from us? Well, he could hear it. Wait, Mr. Attorney. What do you mean by secret? What do I mean by secret? Well... You're an attorney! Just like me! Do you know what this is? Uh, Mr. Attorney. I don't need a translation to understand that. I know that wrong evidence look <laughs> anywhere. I'd imagine you would. Oh, let's try that again. Machi's just like, mm -hmm. Replica. If I'm not mistaken, you know something about this, don't you? A hey, you got a reaction! A, a big one! Machi, you didn't. 
Trucy and I are trained to see people's uncertainty. Not that we would have needed any training to see that one. Mr. Attorney, please tell me what this is all Lemma about. Lemawa, please interpret! Very well. I know you know something about this by your reaction. If you won't tell me, I might have to give it to the prosecution. And have them look into it. Well, the fact that he can understand that means he probably understands the Or Lama Wa translated off screen. Um, so. Oh, the He asks you to wait. Do not be so hasty. Machi. Wait, Do you know everything? Yes, everything. Well, sort of. Have him tell us about it. Very well. The cocoon. What is this cocoon anyway? The cocoon, the silk, is a potent cure. A cure? It must cure some disease. It's a cure for incuritus. Incuritus. Real original name there! <laughs> incuritus. Oh, wow! wow. <laughs> a cure for incuritus? Replica updated in the court record. But if it's a cure, why keep it in Borginia like that? Just think of all the lives you could save by sharing the medicine. I do not understand these reasons myself. Okay, well, at least we know what it is. A cure. And Mr. Lund <coughs> was after cocoon smugglers. Sorry, I'm allergic to plastic. <laughs> Wait, was Machi? Machi? You, you weren't. He couldn't be a smuggler, he's so little. Well, you're only 15 and you're sort of a magician, aren't you? Well, that's true. I'm sort of a magician. She said sort of. Oh, to have a copy of that security camera tape. <laughs> well, Machi, are you a smuggler? Sunny, see me too, huh? Um, oh, shoot, I wasn't prepared. I thought she was just gonna start speaking English! Uh, you can just say random syllables. Mm, sunny, she... I, I'm immediately starting to sing. It's been 11 hours of work! I'm really tired. He won't tell me. First he plays blind, now he plays dumb. I wonder. Do you think he brought a cocoon here to sell it to someone? Sell it to Sharknado! If Machi really did bring one into the country, was he planning on making a wait, deal for wait, its wait, sale? Wait, 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 This is super important. Was this the case that, um, the judge was like, my, uh, my friend's attorney's son is in the hospital? Good memory! Is yes, that? yes, okay. this is the same this case. Is, this is why I'm wondering, because I'm wondering if there's somebody connected to that same person that's like, oh, Incuritus, maybe I could save the judge's son. <laughs> <laughs> maybe I could get the cure to him. <laughs> I don't know why I'm saying it in that voice. Was he planning on making a deal for its sale? This is me, Obi. I can't go home. Can't go home? I can't go home to Borginia. I can't go home to Borginia. I do not want to go home. The penalty for taking a cocoon from Borginia's death. Also, they don't have any red robins down there. <laughs> <laughs> the real reason! <laughs> That's right! It's punishable by death! Without also, there are robins. no red robins there! <laughs> Sonny, see me, huh? About the case. What about the case? He wants to tell us about Mr. Latusa's death? Sonny, see me, see me. This meeting's over. Nobody cares, Sharknado! Go away! Uh, Darian? What? What do you mean? Visiting hours aren't over yet. There's a call for Machi from the Borginian Embassy. This meeting is over. Sorry. Um. Why? Hold up. Why is he telling us? That He's not allowed to be on the case. No. Why is he? Yeah. And also, why is he telling us like uh, the Borginian Embassy calling you? Unless if uh, he's nobody calling, pick up the phone. <laughs> unless if he's calling the Borginian Embassy. <laughs> <laughs> Unless he called the board. It was like, hey, yo. hey you want to talk to Machi? <laughs> He's not doing anything. It's fine. <laughs> Just give us five more minutes. We we can call them back after that. Sorry, no go. Come on, piano boy. We're leaving. Darian, wait. I never liked you, either of you. Huh? Am I that unlikable? Well, he's the killer. <laughs> Darn it, we were so close. He was about to tell us. Hey, Apollo. He didn't want us to hear what Machi had to say. Apollo. 
And there can only be one reason why. Why is everyone ignoring me? Oh, sorry. This is it. I know who I'm after now. Yeah. It all happens tomorrow, in court. I, I, I called it from the start. No, you thought it was Van and Gremory at the start. <laughs> I also thought that, but I also was like, once once they had the mixer thing, and the Sharknado was like, ugh. I was it's like, like yeah, oh, I he can't. sucks at playing music. He's gotta be the killer. <laughs> no, but there's like conflict and tension between band members. <laughs> he missed the cue, so he just killed the guy out of anger. It was after. <laughs> Anyhow, that's it for today, everybody. Thanks so much for watching. And tune in next time. We're going back to court. <laughs> yep. Us versus court. Sharknado. <laughs> Sharknado. Look forward to that. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great Sharknado. day and God bless. Is that like the theme song? I have no idea. I've never seen Sharknado. Yeah, it's, it's, it sounds like a terrible movie. <laughs>